All right, coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Israel Adesanya and Anderson Silva. Well, he still owns the record for the longest title reign in UFC history, nearly 2,500 days. Anderson the Spider Silva, and I guess DC with no mandatory retirement age, this guy might go forever. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest fighters of all time. One of the guys that when you think of mixed martial arts and you think of the UFC, you immediately think of the Spider. You think of the highlight reel, winning the belt from Rich Franklin, the up kick on Vitor Belfort, the knee against Stefan Bonner, the bobbing and weaving against Forrest Griffin. He has a highlight reel a mile long, one of the most fantastic martial artists the sport has ever seen. And still proving to be competitive in his mid-40s. That is the goal again tonight for one of the best to ever do it, Anderson the Spider Silk. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out round five when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Silva is 14 years the elder. Adesanya is two inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the Spider-Silver! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last day of Bender, And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, champ, I can see you're, you're pitting a little bit. You're excited. This is straight out of a kung fu movie. Anderson Silva is real out of sight here. Absolutely. It's something that as a kid in Louisiana, I would pop in my VHS, watch the choreographed kick sequences, and just go absolutely crazy. I'm excited to see how many buttons you can push to go kick, 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 punch, punch, punch for the last outbender versus Anderson Silva. We were born in the 1970s, folks. Oh, Steel my with. goodness. Got the single collar tie. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all wings. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Ooh, head kick lands. It's hurt. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh. He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. 
Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Silva. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those legs. It's a nice back and forth action here. Connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. 90 seconds to go now. Silva gets hit with a kick. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Real steep body kick. One minute. Oh, a huge block there. Silva gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Misses with that punch. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. Big kick lands. Back to the overhand right, not there. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Round two now, Israel Adesanya. And that man, the ubiquitous Anderson Silva. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. So 37 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And landing with 35% accuracy here against Anderson Silva. Nice leg kick there by Silva. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfectly. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Oh! single collar tie here. Big knee to the body! Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Oh! oh. oh and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Now connects with a right. gets tattooed by that straight punch. 
Oh, collar tie. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Silva's lower jaw does not look good. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. Underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Silva lands flush. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry. this one. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like... Oh. He's out! He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of round number three. Declare the winner by knockout, Israel, the last time of the day Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.